Hey y'all, it's Amelia, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. I know what you're chasing, you can only get this feeling from a thug, you can only get this feeling from a thug. In today's video, the day that you are seeing this, it is currently my 20th birthday. <laughs> this video hopefully you already saw the pictures on my instagram if not go like the latest pictures on my instagram because i'm super excited about them today is the day that i'm going to go take pictures clearly i'm excited i'm really running late i need to start my makeup like asap asapery but um, I just got out the shower and everything. So we're gonna get ready with our process. And y'all see, I finally put y'all on the tripod. Like y'all not over here, eye level with me. Or really, y'all weren't even eye level yet. I was like up here and y'all were like down here. But like. Anyways, I'm super excited because today, um, I'm gonna explain the concept a little bit because I feel like if you don't understand like history, it could get kind of lost in translation. If you guys don't know, in America, um, in like the 1920s, was supposedly this like the great time, like women were getting rights, um, you know, wealth and stuff up until 1929. We're not gonna talk about that because. My Roaring Twenties has nothing to do with the Great Depression. <laughs> Thank you. I need to start my makeup and I'm doing too much of this. In the 1920s, they had, um, it was just a time for really like prosperation for, you know, some kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basically that's what today's video, I mean, that's what the concept of it is. The Roaring Twenties was this great time. Y'all don't talk about my hair. It's not completed yet. I just need to move this back. But, um, it was a great time of people's lives. I don't really know, y'all. I just paid attention a little bit in history class. Because I like, I like flashy things. I like flashy things. That's all it. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to use this one today because this one is my color. But I'm doing foundation. So. And when I use this foundation that is my color, I like to use a brighter concealer yeah because like it's summertime so i do got a little bit of a tan i don't know if this foundation is still my color really but we're gonna find out we're gonna make it look like it's my color you hear me they use a lot of contour so i don't this contour is pretty dark but it um when i got my when i was doing maybelline pr and stuff they sent me um, a bunch of different shades of concealer so this was one of them I already um moisturized my face and everything so yeah, girl. I don't know if y'all are excited I mean y'all probably not because you already see the photos but I'm pretty excited like I don't really have I mean I do I'm not gonna lie I do have expectations of what I'm looking for out of this photo shoot and if they do not happen for me, I'm probably going to cry. I don't even know if I'm going to post the pictures, but I'm still going to post the video. But um, I trust my photographer. I've never met her or anything, but she does a lot of work for um, Texas State people. I think she's a Texas, Texas State alumni or something. So I trust her. I've seen her work and she's pretty good. So I trust her. I trust her to see my vision. If y'all don't know what primer I'm using, I'm using this um, primer that I used in Port Aransas for the first time. And I really like it. It's really smooth, y'all. Let's go ahead and start my makeup because I'm ch chit-chatting like this. I need to be doing this. I forgot that I have my um, freaking press-ons. And I still have to go to HEB to go get um, a simple white cake so that I can have it. I get it with white cake. And gold candles and I'm gonna get a candle lighter and see if they'll let me light it so my pictures yeah I'm excited if you can't tell I'm excited y'all I hope like like I said y'all are see y'all I don't know what the pictures look like right now but you guys do so and I hope y'all like them if y'all don't like them don't tell me just double tap them anyway the only thing about this foundation, y'all, it's like got a green undertone and my skin has a red undertone. 
you know what I mean? Like, you know, I know we probably gonna listen to Mariah the Scientist, Kelani. We're gonna listen. Oh, let's talk about that, actually. I went to go see Kevin Gates on August 21st. I will need to go see Blast. I think it was like September 2nd or something. I mean, I said August 21st. I think Blast came to Austin like August 24th or something. I didn't go see him because um, I had, like, it was on Wednesday night or something like that. I mean, on a Thursday. Yeah, it was on a Thursday night. And that wasn't the problem. Like, I go to school on Thursdays, but the problem was I worked at 6 a.m. on Fridays. <laughs> so, it just wasn't really going to work out in my favor. So, I was just like, okay, we're going to have to skip this one blast concert. That's okay. I still love my guy. And I'm I'm hyped because I'm like, oh, I'm going to four concerts in a row. <laughs> so we go to Kevin Gates on the 21st. I decide not to go see Blast on the 24th or something like that. So y'all, really back then, they didn't have like um, thick eyebrows. They had really thin eyebrows. And y'all know I naturally have zero eyebrows. So this is, draw, putting in the eyebrows is not a problem. Um, I don't really remember what I was saying before that. Oh, we were talking about the concert. I went to go see Blast. I think it was August like 24th or 25th or one of those days or something. And I did it because work, right? So I'm super excited because I'm like, okay, that's okay. Because I'm going to go see Kehlani September 4th. Y'all, I ended up getting COVID. I mean, that's not really why I didn't go see Kehlani. I didn't go see Kehlani because I didn't have anybody to go with. But I didn't know like some of my like people that are in Austin were going to the show. I didn't know that. Because I didn't know they like like Kehlani like I like Kehlani. But they probably don't. But they like her enough to go to the concert. You see what I'm saying? So it was okay. Like I wasn't upset about it. I'm like that's okay because I'm going to go see Jack Harlow on September 11th. Which is today. And then I ended up getting COVID. And I was like you know what? I mean I tested negative twice already. But I still don't want to go be in a big crowd right now. Because I don't want to get sick before my birthday. Like that's just my absolute no no. Like my entire life literally since I was a little girl I always get sick on my birthday because I have really bad like asthma and so the weather change is not really fun for me but I just wasn't vibe. so I'm not vibing with the whole like go out in big crowds and get sick before my birthday kind of vibe I'm not feeling it so we're gonna wait <laughs> that's all it is I forgot to mention one more show that was supposed to be in there on September 9th I was gonna go back to Dallas so that um, I could go see Giveon on September 10th with my sister because I wanted to, my sister wanted to go see Giveon, but I, didn't, I wasn't going to go to the concert with anyone else. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go to Dallas, go see Giveon with my sister. But my brother was going to buy our tickets, right? Well, my sister is 16. She just turned 16 and Giveon's concert was in Deep Ellum. And if you know anything about Dallas and like Deep Ellum, you know, that's not somewhere for a 16 to be a 16 year old to be after dark okay so my brother was just like absolutely not if you're like anybody else and you keep asking and wondering Aaliyah why would you go see Jack Harlow again and you just saw Jack Harlow not even a full year ago that was a whole album ago he put out a new album new music I should have been in there yeah like I said they had really thin eyebrows but I just can't do the pencil thin eyebrows so I'm gonna do them this thin which is like my regular shape and then call it a day don't ask me how I came up with the concept because I really don't know. Like one day I remember calling my brother because I knew I, I didn't want to do anything for my birthday, like celebratory, but I knew I wanted to do a photo shoot. I just didn't want to be like everybody else and do the photo shoot with the chair and the balloons and confetti and all that stuff. I just didn't want it. So I called my brother and I said, I think I wanted, this was like probably in March. I said, I want to do a Roaring Twenties thing photo shoot for my birthday. And he was like, oh, okay. Everybody was kind of brushing me off. Oh, okay. And then I said it again to my brother in June. He was like, wait, that's kind of fire. And I'm like, I know. So here we are in September. Thank you. It's hot, child. Let me get my music going and so I can focus on my makeup. And then I'll come back to y'all when it's time to go. Okay. Y'all, my eyeliner, I ate it up. 
I'm not tooting my own horn or nothing, but I ate it up. I ate it up. I did. Simple. Yeah, but let me keep my eyes low so I don't get on the top of my makeup. Like a man. It's a brand new mascara. So okay, y'all. I just finished my makeup. Um, I kind of like it. I try to contour a lot so that it looks like Roaring Twenties, but I didn't really want the super dark eye. So I did do like the um, black eyeliner and the dark under eye, but I don't want it like super dark. You know what I mean? I think we're gonna stick with what I've got. Or let's see. Yeah, I think we're just gonna stick with it like this. I like it, I don't know. I'm supposed to do a red lip, but I have to make a stop and I just, I'm not going out of public with a red lip. I don't know, it's just not really my thing. I know I like to do clear gloss. So yeah, um, I'm not running late like I thought. Goal was to be out of the house by no later than 11 o'clock. It's currently 1025 and that's good timing. So it's 30 miles away, but with traffic, it's probably gonna be like 45 minutes. So yeah, I end up getting little lashes because they wear a lot of mascara, but my top lashes are not good enough for mascara in my opinion. Like I tried to do the mascara, but it just wasn't given really. So we did small lashes. We got red lipstick. Okay, y'all, we're gonna take this off of my hair. We're gonna take this off my hair and um, figure something out. Cause I really don't have time to like curl it with the, the um, flat iron, but that's okay because this kind of wave thing is kind of the thing they had going. I'm going to leave the elastic band on. I'm going to take it off just for um, a little second, but I'm going to leave it on until it's time for me to take my pick. So I did not bleach it, y'all. I don't know. I never really bleach my wigs. That's just not really my vibe. That's a lot of work. I'm, I told myself I'm going to start one of these days. I just, the day has not come. Okay. Y'all know I don't do short hair. So this is already kind of like out of my comfort zone, but that's okay because Really, it's, um, where did I just put that? Oh, it's growing on me, the short hair thing, because I was afraid that, like, even though I know I wanted to do short hair for the shoot because they didn't have long hair in the 20s, I don't like short hair on me. So, it was just really nerve-wracking, honestly, like, the whole trying to figure out what hair to wear, because my hair was not short enough to accomplish the look that I was going for. But we're going to pack my bags so we can go. Okay, y'all. We are out the house at 10.45. That is good. That is super good. That means I'll get there. I mean, I'll be able to get to H-E-B and do what I get my cake and stuff. And then still get there in time and get dressed, whatever. I'm going to have on gloves for some of the pictures. But I still want to have my nails in case I do decide to take the gloves off. You know? Hey, y'all. I spilled nail glue on accident. Like, because I dropped the bottle and it, like, lashed out I guess I don't know it got on my floor and my bathroom floor and I stepped on it so I can feel the glue like on my heel it's so yeah, yucky and uncomfortable but anyways um yeah I'm on my way to H-E-B and yeah y'all I'm excited I wanted to get a um I'm, I'm gonna get it y'all the little car um it's not a tripod it's like the car mount and you put it on your window so that y'all won't be down here by the way, Tate McCray is at my radio station right now. So y'all know I love Tate. We didn't just well we wrapped like five minutes ago i just changed back into my clothes because it's so high i gotta grab this cake so bear with me it is so hot oh my god i want to talk with y'all while i drive but i know y'all not gonna stay okay y'all i'm back in my house now i gotta take these earrings off this red lipstick makes me remember like when i was um doing cheer and stuff that's what it feels like to me 
like cheer and dance and being on stage and stuff but um so let's recap first of all photographer the photographer was so freaking nice i like she her name is asante i'm gonna put her information in the description box i mean obviously um i tagged her in the photos but i'm still gonna put the information in the description box if you want to book with her because she was so super nice she was super sweet yeah i got some wings out from yesterday so i'm about to eat this but yeah um i kind of didn't have any like inspiration because i hadn't seen anybody do it yet but she worked with that and she was able to like you know put it together for me but that's probably gonna be the end of today's video thank you guys for watching um go like those pictures on my instagram man um don't forget to like comment share subscribe go follow me on all my socials everything's in the description box Aaliyah mirage on instagram go like those pictures once again for the fifth million time yeah yeah peace out guys stop